Okay, just a quick one today. Um, power banks, what does anyone know about them? Well, up until about a week ago, I didn't know very much either. I'd like to talk to you about this one. This is Outdoor Extreme Energy's latest offering. This is the PCPB 2100, which is basically the 2100 is the is 20,100 milliamp hours, which it can put out, which is pretty impressive for a quite a small little thing. Um, so let's take a quick look at it because we're all covered in tech these days. I didn't think I'd ever ever need this sort of thing, but I've already proved myself wrong. Um, it's very easy to use. There's nothing really to it. Pretty foolproof. So let's have a closer look. So this is the Outexe PCPB 2100. You've got LED flashlight and you've got your input and output ports and that's it. Well, apart from obviously your on-off switch. So to power it on, you just press the switch. You've got four indicators. As it runs out, you'll get one of them start to flash, then it'll go out. The next one will stay on. When that runs out, it'll start to flash, it'll go out and so on until you get right down and it stops working. Now I got this and it was had only one on, so I put it on charge for about seven hours. It charged it up fully. They do say a standard charge, full charge, is about 12 hours. Um, but you can charge it up to a maximum of on a 2 amp charger, which apparently will reduce your 12 hours. So to get your torch to work, you press the switch again. And you've got standard torch, press it again, you've got a flash, press it once again and you get the SOS mode which could be handy if you're completely lost out in the middle of nowhere and I reckon it will last continuously for a hundred hours so that keep you going for a while and press it off to turn it off. Now it's IP67 water resistant so that means it will withstand half an hour at a metre, or three foot three inches. That bit I haven't tried. The rest of it I have tried out. But it will only stay watertight, providing you keep this door securely locked. This is where all your ports are. Now, it's dead easy to open, even for someone with fat fingers. There's two, two clips here. Let's see if I can show you a bit closer. One there, one there. And all you do, pull them both in, and out comes your cover. So you've got your rubber seal, that's what you need to make sure is securely, firmly pushed in. So we've got two USB ports out and a micro USB port in, that's your, your charging port. It comes with the charging cable, I haven't got it with me today because I'm at the workshop. Um, now then, let's turn it over so I can see. This port nearest the light is your 2.4 amp charging port. So that would be for your tablets. The other one is your 1.5 amp. That would be for your smartphones. Now you can charge simultaneously. So you can have your, your smartphone or your tablet on and your smartphone. Or you can have your tablet and your GoPro. Anything you can charge from USB basically you can charge up from this. Um, they say it will charge an iPhone 7 six times. Well, I've had this out for the last three or four days, and I've actually used it more than I probably would do in the real world, just to try it out, make sure it's you know it's it's working. And I've charged um, my iPad partially once, my iPhone twice, and my GoPro once, and it still had a fair bit of charge left. I have recharged it up for today um, and it still had plenty left though. I think there was two lights left on so it gives you a fair old bit what else we got to put this port back in they suggest you put one side in first clip in the other side but what you really must make sure is that once it's in this clip both of these are securely over 
I think that's something actually the manufacturers might be able to address to make sure that these clip over immediately, sort of automatically when you push it down. So you've just got to make sure that once it's in, you make sure these clips are over and that should give you your IP67 waterproof. So there it is really. Let's um, plug some in. I have got my iPad which is nearly run out, so we'll plug it in and see what happens. Okay. Open the port. The highest one is the one nearest the lamp. Plug in. Plug into the iPad. Switch it on. Immediately. It's come on charge. So there you go, you can just leave it alone. Let it do its own thing. And the other good thing about this, once this is charged, this switches itself off. It's fully protected for over discharging and overcharging, so you can't do either. So that's a real good, good bonus. So don't, if you put it on overnight and you come down and all the lights are out, don't think there's something gone wrong with it. It's actually switched itself off. So I say, I've had this out for two or three days. Um, it hasn't let me down. This is really tough plastic. It's, it's sort of a rubbery plastic, this black, and the, the red is hard plastic. It's shockproof, dustproof, again, dustproof providing you've got your port shut. Uh, and shockproof, it means normal knocks and bangs. It doesn't mean drop it six foot onto a concrete floor, I wouldn't imagine. Um, so it's just, you know, respect it. But if you happen to drop it, then I think, you know, you'll probably be okay. So there you go. Um, very useful. You know, we've all got loads of tech these days which can let us down all of a sudden, especially like these iPhones these, these days. This is quite an old one. This is a 5S. And so often it says it's got 50% you might try and make a call and it goes flat plug it into the wall or to a charger and it comes back up so this is going to be really handy um, for those occasions I'm going to keep it or have kept it and it will continue to be kept in the glove box of my truck but it could be quite easily put in the um, in your, your rucksack anywhere really that you can take it with you it is fairly hefty it weighs in at a pound, which is about 740 grams, something like that. Um, but there is six premium LG battery cells in there. So LG is pretty good. So you know that uh, it's not going to let you down in a hurry. But that probably contrib contributes to a little bit of the weight. But really, it's not that heavy. It's not that bulky. Um, for what it can do for you, it's worth carrying. So there you go. I will put a link in the description for you to check out where you can buy this and also a link to the Outdoor Extreme Energy website so you can check them out as well. Okay, thanks for watching.